I think it's I think it's going to be pushed back further. I think it's going to be going to July, going to be going possibly August. Then they have to get the flight license. So it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. So, you know, even though the FAA in this Rutter's uh, article, they said it's going to be uh, proposed Starship spacecraft uh, review will be May 31st, 2022, supposed to be today on April 29th. SpaceX isn't ready yet to launch anyway. So they don't have a rocket. So another month delay, I mean, whether it's going to be booster seven or booster eight, you know, maybe booster nine or further, possibly that, you know, they might not even be done with a rocket by May 31st. Uh, since this has been delayed for months, it's just a, it's a waiting game at this point. Like SpaceX doesn't have a ship ready. They don't, they haven't tested Raptors on the ship. They haven't done any cryo testing on neither booster, if it's going to be booster eight, or on whatever ship it is that they're going to be using, ship 24 possibly. So we have booster seven. So it could be 24 seven or it could be 24 eight, could be 25 nine. I mean, we don't even know what the ship is going to be. Ship seven or booster seven had some internal issues that they're either repairing or they're going to move on to booster eight because booster eight is very similar to booster seven. Uh, so they may just ditch Booster 7 altogether. They've been inside that thing for the last few days uh, trying to figure out what actually happened to the downcomer pipe in there. And are they going to be replacing it? We'll see. Um, but it's a it's a big mess right now with the FAA and SpaceX working together. Is it going to happen May 31st? We'll see. I, I, it's a it's a unfortunate circumstance, but it at this point, it doesn't really matter that much. You know, in the grand scheme of things, if SpaceX had a rocket ready on the pad, full stack, everything was tested, they were all systems go, 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 go. And then the FAA says, you got to wait a month. What, you know, what does SpaceX do at that point? I mean, they'll continue building other rockets, of course. Um, they need more Raptors there. They need to do more testing. They need, um, you know, they need a stack. So with this new rocket as well, they need to do a fit test. That takes a week. You know, they need to stack the rocket up, put it on top of the booster. And then they have to hold it there for a little bit, a couple days, do some fit checks, do some testing on it. They have to do full wet dress of a fully stacked rocket. They have to do uh, cryo tests again of... If it's going to be booster seven, they have to do a full, full load again of all these tests for cryo tests, pressure tests, etc. You have to do that all over again. So that could possibly take another month. So that alone, the cryo tests alone could take at least a month. You know, they know what they're doing now, um, but they, they also need to get this done properly. So when and if the FAA comes through with the approval, they'll be ready to fly this thing. Now they can't even fly it without, they can't fly it without a flight license. So even if they do get all that stuff done, they still have to apply for a flight license for the FAA as well. So they have to show that the rocket is ready to go. They have to show the FAA all the paperwork, all, you know, all that stuff. That could take a month or two. So the fact that this is getting done now and SpaceX isn't even ready with a rocket, there's a possibility that this could be you know, July, August, you know, maybe September. I, I mean, it could, could be, I moved here in September, so it could be a whole year since I moved here before SpaceX launches, but they wanted to, la they wanted to launch last September. So there's a, there's the thing, you know, there's a, there's a wait for this that for me, I'm like, man, if they don't, if they don't push this thing forward in the next few months, like, should I just move to Florida? So I can cover this. Should I, should I move to Florida? There's more launches there too. You know, should I move back to the East coast? Um, there's more launches. There's way more opportunity to get, um, footage of that kind of stuff. Or should I stay here and like hang out with the R and D facility and document that? So those are things that are going through my mind. I mean, I don't know what's going through your guys' mind, but I think the, you know, the April 29th deadline that just slipped, there's a possibility that it could slip again. I can slip again and again and again. And instead of saying, okay, we're going to get done in July, we're going to make a hard date. Everyone has to be done by July or 
something's going to happen. You know, um, there's nothing like that going on with the FAA. So the the fact that they don't really know when it's going to get done, you know, it shows that they don't really know either when this thing's going to get done. So who <clears throat> who knows at this point? You know, eighteen thousand public comments too. Like it shows in this article, eighteen thousand um, public comments. The FAA said SpaceX made multiple changes to its application that require additional FAA analysis and the, analysis and the agency is still reviewing 18,000 comments. Still reviewing the 18,000 comments. That's a lot of comments because think about this. Each one of those comments could be a page long and you need a person to read every single one of those. Right? And you can't be a reading machine, right? So you're reading these comments could be paragraphs long. And there could be some science stuff in there that you don't know about. There could be some other things that you, that you have to get, you, know, you have to do your own research because these comments, who knows, you know, who knows what's in these comments. So um, 18,000 pages, just think about that. 18,000 pages of work to do. And they do have a, a task force on this, of course. And there's lots of different um, you know, uh, uh, parts of uh, the machine that are working on this, but it's like, man, 18,000 comments, it's a lot. That's a lot of paperwork. And then you have to do a write-up for each one of those pages. So 18,000 write-ups for every one of those pages. So have you ever done a book report, right? You read a book, it's like a couple hundred pages, you know, three, 400 pages, whatever. Then you're like, okay, I got to write a little book report about this. That's what this is, but it's 18,000 book reports, <laughs> or maybe 19,000, like 10,000 book reports. Think about that. Like you have to do like 10,000 book reports. It's silly. Like it makes, it's a ton of work. So anything like that, you're moving forward with it, but also, you know, you can't really, um, you know, you can't really move forward any further than the work that's already been done. So I understand it. You know, the FAA has to do what they got to do. They got to do their job. It takes a lot of time, but also come on, man, we want this rocket to launch. We want people to be multi-planetary, like Elon says, and we want uh, SpaceX to keep moving forward with this production down here in Boca Chica. So I think it's, I think it's going to be pushed back further. I think it's going to be going to July, going to be going possibly August. Then they have to get the flight license. So it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. So like I was saying before, Marcus House broke this earlier today. Uh, they published the FAA accidentally published uh, something in the project updates of their website. Now here it's April 29th. This is the, the paragraph that we were talking about earlier that they updated. Now let's see, let's do a hard refresh on this page. See if they updated the page yet. Project updates. Uh, no, the FAA now plans to release the final PEA on April 29th, but uh, Reuters says uh, May 31st. May 31st is the pushback day. So they get news before everybody else does, by the way. They get releases before everybody else does. I'll check my email to see if I got anything pushed out to it. I haven't gotten anything from the FAA. I haven't gotten any tweets from the FAA either. So um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a storm. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Nine minutes ago, the FAA has tweeted. And this is when I was talking here, so I didn't get the FAA's tweet. FAA continues its programmatic environmental assessment for the proposed SpaceX Starship Super Heavy project in Boca Chica, Texas. New target date for issuing the final PA is May 31st. 